using Noify can help speed up and automate the process of sending proposals and invoices to your clients. To start, click where it says Add New Contract Job. You'll be prompted for information like the job's name and who you're going to be doing this project for, the client. We'll search our database, choose our client, and then we'll choose what describes the job or the contract type. In this case, we're going to use fixed price, although you can choose any of the options, including fixed price with AIA invoicing. And I'm going to choose simple for my job costing style and set a job site address. Choosing simple will have us start right at proposal generation as opposed to having to create a budget first. You'll see we're on the create proposal screen and we'll start filling out the information. First, we'll put in who we're sending this proposal to. If they sent you a PO number, you can fill that in as well and a contract number. You can also put in information about the start and end date in case the customer needs to see it. And if you have any information that you want to put in along with all the line items, you can enter it in the project description box. To start building the proposal, click where it says add new line item. This will prompt for description. Uh, we'll call this one demolition. And then how much you're going to charge for this line item. That'll be our price on the right. We can add as many lines as we need, and these will all be invoiceable later on. You can choose whether or not you want to use your services from the catalog. It's never necessary. We'll just stick with three line items in this case, and we'll finish everything off by including terms and conditions pulled in from my admin section. If I click preview, I'll be able to see what this proposal document looks like. What you see here is the stock proposal in Noify, but if you want to make adjustments, you can email our team at support at noify.com with requests. We also have the ability to send out this proposal right to the customer for a digital e-signature if you need. In this example, we'll just go ahead and click Make Active as if the client has already signed off on it. Once the contract is live, we'll be able to start the invoicing. To do this, scroll to the top of the screen and click where it says Invoice Now. This will prompt for a percentage of each line item that we created that we want to invoice in this period. We also have the ability to do this in dollar figures if we don't want to calculate the percentage. This way you can get more precise invoicing increments, or you can invoice a percentage or a dollar figure of all of the line items put together as a single contract value. In this example, we'll go ahead and plug in some values. And at the bottom of the screen, we'll click Verify and Finalize to create the invoice. You'll see that you have a checkbox that gives you the option to email a document directly to the client as well. This will automatically fill out an invoice document so you can send it out and it will be tracked as revenue on the project. If you have further questions on this, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at noify.com.